Hello, hello. So let's jump right into the makeup tutorial. I'm starting off by conditioning my lips with this uh, tinted lip conditioner and this is L'Oreal BB Cream, which I absolutely love, especially right now because I've been breaking out a little bit. So I've been skipping out on the foundation um, and going with BB Cream because my skin is going crazy. And I apply it with my hands because it always looks better when I just do it with my hands. I don't know why, but it does. This is tape um, on the corner of my eyes and I'm priming this with Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. And this is going really fast, I'm very sorry. Um, I'm blending this in with a brush and this is white eyeliner in my inner corner and on my brow bone. And of course, blending that in as well for a pre-highlight. Alrighty, and now I'm taking Buck from the Naked Palette and blending that on my crease with a blending brush. And here's the star of the show, Cranberry by MAC. This eyeshadow is so amazing. Um, it kind of makes me look like a vampire if I'm not careful because it is kind of reddish. Um, this is Inglot's Purple and I'm using that on the corner of my eye and blending the crease with this other Inglot eyeshadow which is a light brown. So after all of that is blended in, I'm going to take uh, Naked from the Naked palette and blend it with my fluffy blending brush um, from the crease up to like the brow bone area. Now I can remove my tape and work on the bottom of my eye. I'm using cranberry again on the bottom of my eye and so that you don't look dead, you have to use a darker color on the outer corner and apply eyeliner or you'll look like a sick vampire. So I'm taking that purple again on the corner of the bottom of my eye, blending it in and this is Sin which is a pinkish color in my naked palette and that's going to be my highlight. Isn't it pretty? I'm taking a waterproof eyeliner on my waterline and don't worry about all that fallout. I'm going to remove that right now. But first I'm um, lining the top part of my eye, winking it out a little more than usual and applying these awesome lashes. And of course I cut the ends. This is MAC's Moisture Select Concealer in NW30 and I'm applying that in all the highlighting areas and blending it in. To set everything, I'm using my Sephora Micro Powder and I'm using that everywhere except right under the eyes like always. Oh, and one of my favorite things to do at the moment is taking this Maybelline Yellow Corrector and using it as a highlight and I absolutely love, love, love this method. Now that the glue on my lashes dried, I can apply my mascara and some bronzer. I'm using my Sculpting Disc Bronzer on my temples and my cheekbones. Since the eyes are cranberry, you have to stay away from any pink tones or red tones. So I'm using Gingerly Blush, if you must wear a blush. Use something that's more on a ginger or peachy side. Before I apply my lipstick, I'm going to mute out my lips with whatever leftover product is on my foundation brush and I'm going to start with Maybelline Totally Toffee. I love this lipstick. I wear it alone all the time and it's creamy so it's great. It's so pretty and simple, it's not competing with my eyes at all, but now I'm going to apply um, NYX Orion which is more of a brown on top of that lipstick. So those were two awesome options, but now for my favorite of all time, my third option is NYX Natural and this is the one I'm going with because I just love, love, love this lip liner. It blends in so well with my lips and it makes my lips look like I didn't apply anything at all. That's seriously the best lip liner I've ever had. Now I'm going to apply some highlight from my sculpting disc on my cheekbones and my nose and that's about it. Oh yeah, and my brow bone. And of course, my Scandinavia Setting Makeup Spray. Ooh, and look, I can drink stuff and my lips remain the same. How cool. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, it's coconut eggnog. I didn't get to film my hair. This is a halo hairstyle, which I will be filming for you guys soon. It's so easy to do. But in the meantime, follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I update everything I have coming up on there, as you can see. I love you guys for watching, thank you, see you in the next video and don't forget to click here to see my last holiday uh, completed look and nails and all that. Um, yeah, happy holidays!